This is Greg with my top five things to do in Rome. Number one is go sit on the Spanish steps. Day or night, there's usually a great crowd here. And it's a fun place to just go people watching. And better yet, eat some gelato here. Especially gelato chocolato. Okay, it's a little bit gross because it's running down my leg, but it still tastes good. Right at the bottom is the famous shopping street, Via Condotti. Number two is check out the Colosseum. This is one of the most important surviving monuments from ancient civilization. It was built almost 2,000 years ago. It could seat 55,000 people. Before there was TV, there were gladiator fights and a lot of people and animals lost their life here. Number three is go for a stroll in the Forum. This was the heart of ancient Rome for everything from government and business to the world's oldest profession. Today, much is in ruins and you have to use your imagination to fill in the rest. But for centuries, this was the showcase of the Roman Empire and headquarters for much of Europe. Number four, check out Trevi Fountain or any of the amazing fountains in Rome. One of the things that makes Rome such a special city is that you can have fun just going for a walk. And even if you get lost, it doesn't matter because there's always some huge, block-sized, world-class work of art fountain waiting for you just around the corner. They say that if you throw a coin into Trevi, you're assured a speedy return to Rome. Number five is go for a walk or a jog in one of the great parks in Rome. Rome has some beautiful parks. Here by Villa Borghese is one of my favorites, and the one by Circus Maximus. You won't be alone, a lot of people go jogging there. Maybe that's why these people are all so skinny despite all the great pasta and gelato. In fact, I think I better go run right now.